Hi, it's Jeff. And Denise from MouseDubs.com. And this is episode number 155. 155. Of Mouse Steps Weekly. Sponsored by Theme Park Connection in Orlando, Florida. Also uh, by Fun Spot and I Drive. From what I understand, the, the original one is bigger, so that would be maybe the one you would want to go to if you could choose between the two. Right, but the second one has the NASCAR stuff. That's uh, true, too. <laughs> anyway, uh, all new, if you tell them when you go shopping at either Theme Park Connection that Mouse Steps sent you, you, you will get 10% off on your entire purchase. So keep that in mind. Makes it shopping. even a better deal. Also, Pixie Vacations, our official travel agency. The Food and Wine Festival events have opened up for uh, for September. So this is a good time to check into good deals on vacations. Right, never too early for Halloween and Christmas planning. And also, Maple Leaf Tickets, our official ticket agency. The best deals on tickets in town. Be sure to check them out. And we finally made it back to Epcot. It's been very rainy this past week, but we found a, a perfect day to go. It was. It, I couldn't believe we didn't have any rain while there. And uh, I could go to Epcot every day. Right. You know, Me too. It just we don't always have the time to do it as much as I'd so like. So we're starting with the top. The, the most excitement of all, the new uh, relax and recharge area. I think we you briefly have, spoke about this. We have talked about it. The show is only going to go downhill. After. No, it won't. It will get better from here because Jeff is so <laughs> look crazy at how cool about these, these places. Look these chairs. Very exciting. The old 8-bit uh, chairs here. Uh, a mixture of chairs. They had them before and then they took them away and now they're back. I did, now, I did hear that this area will be utilized for uh, this coming food and wine uh, festival, so we'll see. What about does that, that mean? Uh, they're going to have things here. You're, you'll there'll be some kind of uh, food and wine booth in here. That's well, why the, I'm, I'm telling you. I, I heard usually, that rumor. people are laying around on the ground during the festival. Well, they're, they're, here. they're laying around because <laughs> the recharge is just this one little plug here, which seems to have a lot of use if I, if I look on the wall there. So, like, uh, you know, all the seats are over here on the, on the other side, but there's no place to plug in except that one plug. So you usually see a bunch of people huddled up against right. that plug with the uh, chargers. So. I don't find it that exciting. And maybe when there's well, a booth I may in have there, people... <laughs> I may have but it gets better. We had, of course, the Nectar of the Gods. We had to have some Beverly while we were in the area. No, I, I not we. Cool. Not we. Club Cool, I Jeff, should say. Chain. Jeff likes Beverly. I do not. It's a fine <laughs> aperitif that you should try. Here's our first look at the new uh, third Soren Theater that's being constructed. We're going to see it uh, on our travels throughout Epcot. But our first look is right outside the Club Cool. And you can sort of see it growing behind and we'll see them. it all around World Showcase. Like. Well, it, you know, I just wanted to give... Uh, I know. An idea, idea what it of, looks of like. how it's going to look. I'm sure they'll paint it and you won't really see it. They'll probably paint it light blue or something. It'll blend in. But uh, but there you go. That's how you see it by uh, I kind of think like, why didn't the Disney think of this before? Like build the attractions a little larger so you could fit more people. Like they're you know doing what? It, At least with it's Toy happening. Story. I am thrilled that it's happening. I think it doesn't, not till the end of next year, right? I forgot. You know, I should have not have said the excitement is getting even better. No. Captain EO, oh. due to popular demand. <laughs> look at the fan, look at the crowd of people coming out of EO. You cannot say that it wasn't very popular that as, day. As Moss on the IT crowd said, oh no, it's set in the 80s. The 80s like, is good. <laughs> and I love, I love the, 80s, the 80s, but I'm. We were around I, in the 80s. I know. I love the 80s, but Captain EO. Look at the lines. Oh. It's tremendous. <laughs> Captain EO has made a triumphant return to Epcot. <laughs> And uh, and you can see the uh, the excitement building here. I I just want something new, something new in this theater. And I actually enjoyed when they brought like the Inside Out uh, preview and all that, and the Tomorrowland preview. It was something. It was new. It was new. Well, obviously, it can't be that hard to put in these new little things. I wouldn't mind if you're gonna have EO in. Let I'm, I'm sure the reason it's here is they don't have anything else ready to go at the moment that's new. So it it's probably better for them to have something air conditioned on a hot day. It it is. Finally air conditioned. How about I'll like give... some figment movies or something? Maybe they can make some uh, new movies. You know, there could I don't be know plan, something. There could be plans in the works. There Maybe. Could be plans. Anyway, we will move on from, from the <laughs> Imagination Pavilion. It was delightfully air conditioned, I will tell you that. That, it was that is always a plus. And uh, so we're going to go around World Showcase. And as we always do, uh, when we go together, you like to check out all the shops and see what's new as far as merchandise. So anything new that we haven't seen, we'll kind of point that out on our little walk. We're going to start over in Canada. And, uh, and here is another view coming up. Uh, you're, we're not going to see this at every country. It's just this happens to be just close, some of the close to where the construction is of the new theater. But we also noticed that the waterfall back here is uh, is being worked on. So I've never seen it with the waterfall turned off. The, and Canada is is 
one of my favorite countries, that in France, probably just to kind of wander around because mm-hmm. it's so beautifully landscaped. Um, we won't see as much of that right now, though. So here's our first stop into the shop. Denise is in charge of the uh, of the shopping around World Showcase. Tell us what we have here. Well, I like that a lot of their hockey teams have Tervis. Little Tervis. Oh, no, we're already, we're already in the You have five seconds for each picture, so make it <laughs> Big snappy. Big and tiny Tervis. We're in... Uh, we're in the uh, UK right now, and uh, they have Galaxy bars. Oh, we love the Galaxy bars. I know bars. there's certain bars they can't bring because of Hershey's or something, which is why I won't buy Hershey's anymore. But you have Epcot World Showcase new shirts with Mickey and Minnie, and you also have a bag. Um, and these came in very recently. Downton Abbey has had a presence here for over a year, maybe two years. But these are new, uh, the pillows. They actually have a whole new section, kind of a new uh, new theme of downtown uh, Downton Abbey. Yeah, you had me model all these things for you. I'm not I sure like what that, that is. I like that bag. It's a oh, very a lightweight bag? bag. Yeah, I don't know what any of this stuff is. Like, what is that? Like, what would you hang that thing? I have no idea. I don't know. Well, this, you can hang I this. I like this. This would yes. fit on the door. You hang yeah, it over your door. I like there. that one. So uh, here is a look across the way now. This is our very first look at the new Frozen Anna and Elsa meet and greet. It's a new building, uh, apparently due from uh, the permits that were uh, discovered. 1,300, or yeah, 13,000 square foot building, including a restroom and the meet and greet there. So uh, it's going to be a big, uh, big building. I'm always out. excited for new restrooms. Yes. I believe it's a it's a woman's room too. You I don't double know. the excitement. One of the biggest new additions in the last couple of years has been that restroom over in the uh, United States Pavilion and I actually really like that. That was like a that. fine uh, restroom. I always wait for that one cuz it's so nice and clean. Well, you have a frozen <laughs> John to experience yourself. So now we're going to move on to to France. We always love France, and we'll see uh, some nice views. Uh, there's the fountain. I wish we can go to the real France again. Oh, I love going there in the morning and you know you can go to uh, France at 9 a.m. to have breakfast. Oh, and we're going to go in uh, and check out just a few items here. They have a big These ratatouille These I love. The section. ratatouille items are awesome. Some of them are the very same items you can get at, at the real France if you go to the Disney Many Studios of the items, there. The I ratatouille believe. ride, yeah. And uh, this has been there for a little while. We you almost, almost bought, bought that. that in France. Yeah, Disneyland Paris. I wish I did. And we're not showing everything. Like, there's so much ratatouille stuff here, and it has been for many months, but they had, like, a Julia Child book. Book that was new and, and that uh, you items. know they used to have these cow uh, noise makers that Arr. you would turn over and it would make the moo sound I and we bought get, it yes we have it it was on sale clearance so uh so what a bargain <laughs> <laughs> So this represents uh, uh, We used to Morocco. go and make the, make the sound. That's right. Like, <laughs> and set them all off. So now we're over here at uh, Japan. And uh, this, we're up by the restaurant. This is a beautiful view, by the way. Great place to watch Illuminations from, if you can get a spot there. And uh, again, I, I, it's a what a beautiful day. We're kind of panning across the uh, World Showcase hey, look. Lagoon. And how do you like this? Another view of that third theater. So you're getting a, how it looks across from World Showcase. This will be the last time we see it, so don't worry. We're not going to show. And it is actually exciting. You know, they'll they'll be shorter weights, and I think that's such a plus. I just think this is an interesting angle. You see the different types of buildings, the different mm-hmm. roof lines, and everything. It's, it almost doesn't look real from there when you when you go in. It looks almost like a cardboard. Right, right. So uh, of course we're going to go into the this shop. Is, this is probably my favorite shop. It, well, I like France, but in all of World Showcase because. Even though I don't care about Hello Kitty or anything, it's so cute. Like like every time we go in, there's new stuff, and uh, not back only back to school with Hello to, Kitty. Yes, it's back to school, and that <laughs> just came out. And um, you know they have so many fun little merchandise items and food, and you have Sonic the Hedgehog there. And this stuff just leaves. A lot of it will go so quickly. So when you see it, you have to buy it, or else you may never see it again. Right. So, yeah, there's a Hello Kitty. That's a very, very heavy pillow. It was. You had me hold it. You were surprised how heavy that you was. You could, like, hit somebody with it. Heritage Manor Gifts over at the U.S. Oh, here we go. Moonshine. They, well, they keep adding to the moonshine. I don't remember the Blackberry before. And then uh, they have a bunch of shirts, and some of them I have not seen before. I like that uh, some of these have hidden Mickeys in Almost them. all of them have hidden like Mickeys. The, like the, Ameri- the stars are Mickey heads. Well, I like, you know, it's kind of fun to just kind of like you look at it and then it's like, oh, look, there's Mickey. Like you don't always notice it at first. Yeah, I did not notice it. There's something coming up that uh, I'm not sure it's a pillow or something. I didn't notice it. But uh, yeah, is that a pillow? Is that, that like is a, throw? a pillow. Mm-hmm. I like that the stars are the Mickeys. So. They've been they've been coming out with a lot of pillows and these are like like wallet kind of like wallets. 
And uh, oh, and now we're in Italy. See, this is a whirlwind tour. <laughs> it's a quick it's a tour. It's world sh- a world showcase tour. There's a Pinocchio the cart. There it is. There is the Pinocchio cart right there. And I don't have, I have to get the pictures of the magnets and such, but they yes, have magnets. Uh, amazingly, and... we have that picture. Oh, do we have I that? I took it from the I, iPhone. I need you to send me that. <laughs> so uh, there it is right there. Those are the magnets. They're it's very like cute. It's like almost all Pinocchio on this cart. All Pinocchio all the time. Well, it's fitting. Now, here is something that uh, hopefully is a good thing. The uh, the railroad here uh, is being, it's completely Germany, walled off. The Germany, it's the a romantic set. road, they call right. it. And uh, the, tra- the, the train track was gone. All the buildings. Gone. Everything. If you look through the those bushes it has been stripped so my hope is be that better. they are redoing it and putting new track and, and up updating it what would be very sad is if they're taking it away to I put some kind gonna... of uh, merchandise have we have we looked today. online I have, nobody i have nobody knows this is the first i have seen of it so there's no rumors to to ta- tell i you just can't don't know. take that away Let's hope not. <laughs> Nothing can't. surprised with that. You know, <laughs> it could be back by now. Like it's a couple oh, I days like later. These. These, now we're in Germany. I like these new beer garden T-shirts. These, these are brand new. That's the kind of beer I like to get in there. That giant, bigger than your head beer. <laughs> they so. have quite a few new shirts, and we're not showing all of them. That's we're a only Martin showing Smith shirt. Oh, that's yes. a women's shirt. We're just showing just the ones that we noticed were new this time. But like a few weeks ago, they brought in some really cool ones, including a jersey. So now we're over at uh, Norway, and we're going to take a peek at that new building that we talked about, where that. Uh, 13,000 square foot meet and greet is happening. I bet you that area right there, though, will be the women's room. I hope it and will be the And they'll turn the men <laughs> and women's room into one big men's room on the right. Uh, that's just my guess. I haven't seen that the would plans. Be, that would be good. So this, uh, that would sort of make sense as far as uh, how they're talking I'm so about excited. It. it has a restroom. I mean, You're more I can't, excited about I'm that than the new uh, meet and greet. You know, the, the whole purpose of this is you're meeting Anna and Elsa at the Royal Summer House. Their Royal Summer House, you see. So uh, that is the backstory. It's supposed to be a big, elaborate meet and greet probably similar to what you have at the magic kingdom the uh fairy tale hall type of a deal that, or like that mickey's town square theater correct just uh, that's what i would guess so uh you i know, have no idea it, it, it fits the uh, epcot uh way perfectly doesn't it yes and look <laughs> like um there's this our, hopefully our sarcasm is not no. being missed here there's like a maintenance guy who was just putting in that i don't know if somebody was like trying to kick their way through well, the this, door. this will be the entrance to but the frozen this, ever after this was not there oh that one little hole there? that little hole so i didn't know if somebody was trying to get in or something and they had to like <laughs> oh that's what you were that's very funny i did not know what you were I talking about i watched him put it in somebody was probably there. sneaking a picture through there or something oh i don't know perhaps i don't know Anyway, that's going to be Frozen Ever After, opening spring 2016. It'll be a boat ride like the old, the uh, former Maelstrom attraction. Obviously, this area here with the waterfall will be kept because they're not taking it away. They're just blocking it. One time we saw Imagineers working up there. Mm-hmm. so And then they blocked it. Yes. And we're going to take a look. There's the crane building, Yay! the building next There's door. There's a lot of so. cranes around Walt Disney World right yeah, now. Yeah, almost every park you could see a crane, I believe. Now, this is uh, the exit of the uh, Maelstrom ride where I believe you'll probably exit from Frozen Ever After into the gift shop. And while I was taking this video, people were looking at me like, why is he recording a door? You know, Why I get that you? a lot. No. I get that a lot. <laughs> they actually have a lot of new Norway merchandise here. And I just only just took a picture of this one the with the make. You know, I yeah, think it's yeah. really fun. They have a bunch of new stuff that came in like a few weeks ago. And now we a uh, very quick look at uh, Mexico. You just found this one new T-shirt here. Well, this they, color anyway. I've not seen it in black. Well, they used to have the shirts with the three caballeros. Then they took them away. But now they're co- making a comeback. So I'm happy about that. As always, it was a great time at Epcot. Can't wait to get back again. And it was a perfect day. It was a beautiful day, but I think it, the heat index was over 100. So it's yes, nice. It to was sit, a little warm. <laughs> it's nice to sit here in air conditioning and watch it. But we we got to cool off. Although this was a completely different, different time day. at this uh, a special DVC event. And why don't you set us up of what it what it was? Well, um, somebody will call the DVC doctor. Yes, thank you. Met before, uh, thank yes, you, DVC doctor. Had invited us. Um, this is a free event for Disney Vacation Club members staying on site, and there were four of them there's two still coming up but you had to register ahead of time and he invited us and uh, we had a very nice time i haven't been here at night right well we should before. mention in, in case you missed it but this is at disney's typhoon lagoon water park and again like denise said we don't get there very much and i have never you know i've been doing this all my life and i have never been there at night you know they don't normally have it opened after dark so for me it was very special and it was actually very awesome to be there uh, at nighttime we're going to see a nice sunset here coming up too i think 
think it's been over a year since we've been. We don't, uh, it, it, for us, like a water park is usually purely pleasure. And uh, well, yeah, the 25th unit, anniversary right, right, right. is we when went, we went. Uh, for the 25th, that's right, so about a year ago. We have to kind of save our purely pleasure things for very little. Well, so. we're always following what uh, the news What's is. Going there's on, always yeah. not uh, a lot going on at the water parks. But we love them. And I, you know, this is going to make me want to go back. Although, if I had my choice, I would always want to go at night. It's, uh, for me, nighttime is the best time to be there. So, uh, and again, we're at the wave pool. And uh, this wave pool, we'll, we'll see more of that later. But uh, and here comes the wave now. It was pretty uh, pretty awesome. The event itself ran from 9.30 to 12.30, but we could get there earlier. I think around 7 o'clock is when uh, entrance was, and then you mixed with uh, day guests, and then eventually it was just DVC members and their guests. Right. So the event itself included snacks, and we'll see some of that characters. later. And characters. And of course, what a surprise. We were first in line to meet uh, Mickey and Minnie in their swimwear. Of course wear we were. <laughs> their tropical <laughs> swimwear. And they were really um they were really a lot of fun i think this is what they wore for the 25th event it as was well. i remember that that's true but mickey and minnie are always great I, you know i hate to say this i don't want to give any bad ideas out but uh you know if they had a special nighttime event at the water parks like a halloween splash event or splash something tacular. a splash tacular no. a spooky tacular i would probably go to such i think a we're using the other parks <laughs> parks around garbage. the world yes <laughs> <laughs> a spooktacular in the water. That might be like SeaWorld. I don't know. But any, yeah, well, I think you're probably <laughs> right. But it, it was great. I loved it. And uh, I, again, I would pay for something like this. And here comes Lilo and Stitch. And uh, so there were two sets of character meet and greets from 930 to 1230. And that will probably be the way it is the next couple of evenings. Um, they also included water and lemonade. That was the drinks for the evening. And unlike other character meets, it was nonstop. They, you could meet them right the entire time from 9.30 to 12.30. They took there were short no, breaks. Yeah, short but... breaks, just a, a tiny little break. But uh, And Lilo and Stitch are always great, and having them together was uh, was awesome. So I, I enjoy them. The You know, one thing about Stitch is he can often be very naughty. He is always naughty, isn't yes, he? He's that's, very that's the point well, of that's, Stitch. That's right. So, you know, and here he and comes And there they now. go. So, uh, but he didn't do anything super naughty this time. So no, he wasn't, like, licking the... You know, how he'll, he'll, <laughs> like licking the lens of the camera or something or pretending to lick it. Yes, like on the, I think on the cruise line he did something like and that. And he did that at California Adventure too. So here's a look at some of the snacks. Nothing too elaborate. They had cookies and various chips and things like that. And of course, they had Mickey ice cream. Mickey ice cream bars. And just, you know, if you're going to this, have dinner first because there there is a very limited selection of items. Yes. Well, it you know, it is 930 to 1230. So they are probably assuming you've had dinner when you go. But if you show up at like, seven i think just go to downtown disney there's so many great choices for food although over there. we had a pizza they we did got a have little the food pizza, opening but the food over at downtown disney like earl of sandwich or something is even better right right and of course we were just at downtown disney right before this yes so we should have followed our own advice we just had had lunch so yeah <laughs> now this was especially harrowing at night the giant waves from the wave i don't pool. do that at all you would not uh, i don't you would not, well you're you're about to experience it by uh, by way of video because i'm going to take you for a uh, a splash tacular uh, into, into, <laughs> into the wave pool. Well, I don't like having my head under the so water. Here you are, Denise. So. Get ready. This is a huge wave coming right at you. And here I, I'm not. Like I was way, way further back where oh, it you just were, went to my feet. You were yes, yeah. You. This yeah. is not. <laughs> See, <like> <laughs> I flipped. You kind of flip around, and there could be bodies. I mean, you have to really be alert here. Yeah, you so, have to watch uh, everybody. I like. Um, I know the Blizzard Beach one. I like much better because you can be in a. It's not like a big wave, and you can be in a floaty yeah even these after waves are, uh, are pretty substantial i like having you know a, some kind of a floating device and if it's like this like i can't i i physically can't do you know it. i i don't believe they allow a noodle or any kind of floating no. device in that but pool. right here they do yes now this was delightful and you know because we did it at the very where i did it at the very end of the evening You'll see from the video, there was almost nobody in the, the uh, Lazy this is, River. Right. This is the Castaway Creek Lazy River. And uh, the only thing about it, like, I didn't end up going in on this day. But sometimes, like, water shoots at you. Like, to me, it's not lazy if they're shooting cold water on me. But otherwise, I actually like it. 
Right. Well, we were doing different things. You were sort of getting the uh, the footage from the beach party, and mm-hmm. we'll get it. We'll see that after. And I I volunteered to do this, and I like that. You know, I don't mind this being squirt in the face with the water. It's very and stuff interesting like how it looks on the on the lens. I actually haven't seen this footage yet. Yeah. Well, you're going to enjoy this. It's a lot of fun. I, I I was testing my brand new GoPro Hero Four, and it was one of the first times I used it, and uh, it was a great test to be here at uh, Typhoon Lagoon. But, uh, and you'll see, you know, this will bring back memories of doing the Lazy River. You haven't done this in, in a long time. And one, I should also mention, they had special lighting that, uh, of course, I've never been there at night. I didn't know this, but I really like the nighttime lighting uh, at this Lazy River. I think, you know, they have certain uh, events at night maybe for gay days or something like every now and then they'll actually well, have a and, night and event. And private buyouts too. Right. Like they have special events where you can buy out the park at night. But wouldn't uh, it be nice if like during Disney the summer. Disney themselves put it on would be nice. Like, yes. Well, not even a party, but maybe like after hours, not till 1230. That's very late, but even till like nine o'clock, 10 o'clock where they stay open. I actually prefer it when there's no sun out because of my skin. Like I, you know, otherwise I'm like wearing, you know, stuff to protect my skin from the yeah, sun. Yeah, when you live here, you have to be very protective of uh, such things. But as you can see, there's nobody. You'd like that. There is nobody. In the in- last hour, right. I, I do like that. I don't like uh, people swimming under me. There's a lot of things I don't like at water parks. <laughs> Well, but I like this. I like yeah, you it. You would have it's enjoyed quiet. this. You would have enjoyed this. this. Is the I call this the rainforest section, and I think you would have uh, enjoyed this very I'm, much. I'm like the grumpy lady in the pool. Don't splash me. You're the get, get off my lawn, get off my of, lawn of, of the uh, the, water, of the park. water park. That is true. You real? I, you know, I never thought of it. Like you would hate this. I you don't would, like this. You would have me try to steer you away. I will. I'll be the, like, can you please get me underneath this, like, so that I don't get squirted with the with the cold see, water. So it, it wasn't that cold, by the way. But now you know why. I was the one who did In this, past, uh, this re- cold. recording. And one of your favorite parts about any Lazy River is coming up. We're going to go through the, the, the uh, I guess you can call it the cave here, mm-hmm, the cave mm-hmm. of wonders with that nice ice cold water coming down by you. So I would a- have Jeff take my raft and if I was in there and and put it, to- it through like so I don't I'd go be under. Walking. I would yes, be walking. Jeff would have to walk pu- and help me with that because I don't want to get that See, I get lots put of to water. Work. I get fully put to work when I go to the, but I have a good time and, and, and you, you know, you're a good sport for doing it because I know you don't like uh, necessarily the water going right on your head. Like no, that, I don't so. like that. Anyway, let's give some tips for those that are going to the event. Uh, I'll start first. I think uh, getting there early is a great idea because not only can you save you save money. They told us that if you buy a locker early, it's like two bucks or something. But if you wait for the event to start, it's fifteen dollars. Right. So uh, that's a big savings right there. And uh, and also if you want to get a good seat. Uh, you know, you can bring a cooler. You're allowed to bring your own food and beverages in. So if you uh, are local or if you happen to have a cooler, why not bring it in? Well, it's only for guests. Well, we were local, even though we, you know, we had the keys to the room, too. Right. But uh, definitely bring like the. No, uh, no liquor, no alcohol. Is no allowed. alcohol. Right. Uh, the drinks there, if you were going to buy them like sodas, were like six bucks. Well, yeah, water water was like five dollars, I think. But right? between five and six, juice was six. So it's event priced. Uh, so you you can just get the the free lemonade and water out of the containers. But otherwise, if you want something else, even you could bring it in. Now we have had the privilege of seeing Teen Beach Movie Two recently. I it is loved a great it. film. I you, liked you, it better than have, Avengers. Better than Age of Ultron. Ultron. Yes, that's a true story. I prefer it. I thought it was so much fun. Well, yeah, we reviewed the film and uh, interviewed one of the actresses from it, Chrissy Fit, and yeah. that's the reason we watched it to begin with. And I was like, oh, I don't know. We'll see how we'll like it. But I, I mean, it's such a, a such a fun film, and I believe that this event, this little teen teen beach party, is something that is for day guests every day right. during the summer. Um, I don't have like the dates in front of me or anything, but uh, I thought it was a, a, a lot of fun. You know, we heard the same songs over and over. But I love the songs from Teen Beach the too. Yeah. Worm. <laughs> That's not that part's not necessarily my favorite, <laughs> but. <laughs> Um, but I actually enjoy the music so much. I can tell you this. I have not been there during the day, but I can tell you, I can guarantee you, it's much more pleasurable doing this at night because it would be sweltering hot doing this in the, the direct sun. Right. I mean, and, but, you know, a lot of guests actually like the hot and the, you know, and like to get a tan or yeah, that's whatever. True. So no, no shame. Um, I, I prefer the evening. So it was very nice. Anyway, two thumbs up for us. We would recommend the event. Of course, it's a free event. So why not? If you can go, go. We have 
had a great time. And, uh, you know, if they ever have another opportunity to do a nighttime event at any of the water parks, I would certainly check it out. Absolutely. So the last event this week, we uh, went to the Give Kids the World Village for uh, Kevin Bacon, the actor Kevin and theirs. See, I got my picture with uh, Mr. Bacon right there. <laughs> and uh, he had a special <laughs> challenge. And uh, why don't you tell us a little bit more about it? Well, he was challenging Ethan, who was sitting at the table, uh, to see who could eat the most ice cream in six seconds. And then the loser, uh, they probably should do the winner, but, you know, give $6 to Give Kids the World. And, uh, you know, the whole explain, uh, or I can explain, the whole $6 comes from Kevin Bacon is known for the six degrees of Kevin Bacon. And that means everyone in Hollywood can be linked to Kevin Bacon through his or her film roles within six steps. And often it's even like one or two. Oh, yeah. Very, very quick sometimes. So anyway, the six degrees dot org in this case, it's, you know, he's saying that everybody can connect to somebody with a life threatening illness within six, six steps or six degrees. And um, I'm sure, you know, I probably could within one or two. Oh, absolutely. Every, I think he's right. Oh, look at Mayor Clayton looks very hungry there looking at that uh, ice cream. <laughs> that's a heck of a challenge. That's a lot of ice cream for six seconds <laughs> yeah, as well. That's right. So um, I've been volunteering off and on at Give Kids World for 12 or 13 years. And what they do is they uh, give cost-free vacations to children with life-threatening illnesses and their families for a full week. And they get, you know, uh, tickets to Walt Disney World and to SeaWorld and to Universal and the theme you know the theme parks and uh, probably other attractions as well um, but it's very worthy charity it and is. we support them whenever we can absolutely so anyway uh, we're gonna let Kevin Bacon himself explain how you can do the challenge and if you want to see the full video here and actually see who wins we will link to that in the show notes so here we go here is Kevin Bacon himself to tell you how to get involved in the challenge too now it's your turn Ethan and I challenge you to take the challenge yourself. Use the hashtag GKTWChallenge and share your videos at gktw.org slash bacon. Have fun. Get messy. You'd be doing a good thing for these kids. Thank you. So that was a great event. What do you think? It was a, it was a lot of fun. So next time we're uh, out in California and we get one of those giant ice creams and Mickey's pants, we'll have to uh, do, do the, the challenge. challenge That's and right. Send them the money. Send them the money. <laughs> and that's another show. That's another show. Thanks to Pixie Vacations, our official travel agency. And it's again almost time for Halloween and Christmas. And uh, check them out for the very best deals at Walt Disney World. Also, Maple Leaf Tickets, our official ticket agency. They have tickets to all of the local attractions. Best deals you can get, so check them out. And Theme Park Connection. Remember, if you mention Mouse Steps, you get 10% off on your entire order from uh, either of the stores. I so, like a discount. Discount, yes. We love a discount. So anyway, uh, thanks again, and uh, have a great week. Have a great week.